south sun uh, just peeking over the, the hill here. In the winter time, I shut all the doors every night to keep everybody warm. Let's go in here and open up the doors for everybody. Hopefully there's no messes. Morning, Buttercup. Good morning, Buttercup. Good morning, Cooper. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Sam. Get the door open for you, buddy. Good morning, Lucy. There you go, Lucy. Hey, Tinky. Hey, Tinky. Hey, Tinky. There you go, buddy. There you go, bud. Get you outside. Go pee. Go outside. Go pee and stuff. I wonder how my uh, silicone came out on this. Looks pretty good. Had to fix this floor, put this mat in. Have a dog come in the suite here. But we've got a lot going on today. Go outside, Tank. Yeah, go outside and go to the bathroom, buddy. All right, so first thing, <laughs> that light. Kind of disco balls until it warms up a little bit but okay so that's the first thing i do in the morning come out here open up all the doors i wonder what kind of day we have today so i let everybody out they go out and they kind of do their thing for a little bit and then i get back out here after a good cup of coffee and uh start cleaning and getting them out so that'll be the next phase okay we're back in i think uh what we're gonna do we're gonna start with um we're gonna start with lucy because she she has seniority over everybody she's been here the longest and then we'll uh kind of work our way back around to these guys because these guys just came in yesterday i try to go with seniority first I know, Sam. You'll be next, buddy. Actually, Tank will be next, and then you. Oh, Lucy. Oh, got a mess. No. Not, not a huge mess, but a little bit. That's okay. We'll get cleaned up. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Miss Lucy. Hi, Miss Lucy. Can you go out back, Lucy? Probably not, but we'll see anyways. Then you want me to open the door for you, Luz? Tank, don't worry, buddy. Don't worry, bud. Oh, Miss Lucy. <laughs> All right, while I have Lucy out, what I'm going to do is uh, I need to pull cards and get... Uh, Get paperwork out for everybody. That's uh, ah, I know it gets pretty loud in here. You're all right. Um, I'm gonna have to pull cards for all the dogs that are coming in, and we've got uh, let me see, one. Two, two new ones coming in, so I gotta get paperwork ready for those guys too, and uh, see where I'm gonna put everybody else while she's out, and then clean her stall up and stuff, and get her fed, and continue on with everybody else. All right, so I pulled a couple of new cards, got uh, telephone numbers on there, everything ready to go. Scheduled a couple other more people in January, which is good because January is always pretty horrible. The past two two Januarys have just been slow, but Lucy finally wanted to go out back. That sun was feeling pretty good to her, I think. It stays kind of shaded on this lower side, but since she's out back, we need to uh, poop scoop her stall. 
then we'll wash it and do the same thing with everybody else. Yeah, you guys got a bunch of messes too this morning. Yeah, we'll get you cleaned up. All right, so we got that stall poop scooped. At this point, I'll run back inside. We're gonna have to get that other piece of poop in the stall. <laughs> They'll have to sweep, mop, disinfect that. Uh, probably go ahead and spray off the outsides as well and disinfect, but I don't use any bleaches or ammonias or anything like that. I use the uh, Melaleuca stuff, Mellow Magic. It's all like plant-based from Australia. Solid Guard, disinfectant. It's all Melaleuca, so it's all like bio-friendly. See, like, no, no chlorine, no ammonia. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really good stuff. So after poop scooping, why not start spraying this outside down? plugs in because in the morning time like this it's, it's uh, loud obviously and honestly it could, it could drive you crazy so I try to turn the volume down on that a little bit, uh, concentrate a little bit better shop back every other day on these stalls to get up most of the hair but today today is just a broom day I think <laughs> So at this point, everything is nice and clean from the outside to the inside. Everything is disinfected, heightened. And uh, at this point, she's been out 20, about 30 minutes, give or take. So it, it provides the dogs some time out in the morning as well. So it kind of serves two purposes. A lot of kennels would just shut the dogs in, clean outside shut them outside, clean inside, and they're just still stuck in here, but I get them out. Yeah. It's time to get Lucy some food at this point. All right, so I just got another check-in in, and uh, he is uh, brand new. He's pretty nervous back there. But I had to put Lucy up, and then, come on, Lucy, got your food. But uh, he's, he's a little nervous back here. Hopefully he does okay. Here we go, Lucy. Good girl. Good girl. And a dog. Good girl, Lucy. There you go. I think she's hungry. She's like, get out of here. I want to eat. Hey, Leic. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. This is a new guy. He's still in there. Hey, buddy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. He smells that food. He's like, oh, what's going on over here? Okay, next on the seniority list, that would be Mr. Tank. Come on, buddy. Oh, boy. Can I do that? Hey. Right. Same thing with each stall, you know, poop scoop out outside, clean the outside, disinfect the outside, and then work our way. Through. It's pretty much how it is. So 
extra rock for Sam. Oh, he's already outside checking it out. But uh, outside's clean, inside's clean. Gotta keep that coffee flowing. 10.15, doing pretty good on time, huh, Sammy? I'm a good boy. Good boy, Sammy. All right, Sam, everybody gets different food. Everybody's totally different. Some just get dry. Some get fed once, twice. Some have vitamins, pills, etc. Sam is on a, a medication and also uh, vitamins to help out with his older age. But uh, he had his pill yesterday, so he's not going to have it today. Every other day on that pill. You would think it'd, it'd be hard to keep up with, you know, all the diabetic dogs that come in. And, but that's what the boarding cards are there for. You know, you write everything down, exactly what uh, what they take, what they need. And, uh, you know, it's right there on a daily basis. All right, I got Buttercup and Cooper out here. They, they need to be separated to feed. This guy has a pill and... You gotta eat your food, Buttercup. Eat your food, Buttercup. Come on. We'll save it for later if you don't eat it, okay? Yeah. I'm gonna let her think about that. Let him finish up. But uh, all the stalls are clean now. And everybody's good to go. Everybody's been fed. Medications. Had one check-in. Mr. Lick. He seems to be hanging in there pretty good. That a boy. You okay, bud? I do good boy. Good boy. He's still a little unsure, but okay. Now, just like the outside stalls, I've got to poop scoop all this, wash it down real, real good, dump the wheelbarrow, clean the tools, disinfect this entire backyard. So these guys are like hanging out in here, but yeah, everybody gets out while I'm cleaning and uh, yeah, what are you doing? Hi. What's interesting is sometimes it makes the dogs, especially the newer dogs, feel a little more comfortable if I'm not constantly like, oh, hi, and petting them constantly. It just almost makes them feel a little more comfortable when I'm just walking past them. Just cleaning, doing my thing. And then, you know, eventually in the afternoons, I'll come around and start petting them real good and then we'll play for sure. But in the morning time, it's just basically clean, disinfect, feed, medications, all that stuff. And, uh, you know, if we have a check in or if I have a dirtier stall where I gotta clean walls, then it takes me longer. But Let's see, what time is it? It's like 11.50, no, 10.55. So I did pretty good this morning. But when I have a full house, I start at, you know, six and it takes me until lunchtime to get everything cleaned and, and everything. But so everybody's been out, everybody's been fed, cleaned, etc. cetera. Um, we've got two more that are coming in midday today. So I think I'm going to try to take advantage of this moment, go get me a little bit of lunch, and I, I can almost guarantee as soon as I sit down, they'll probably, <laughs> they'll probably show up, but uh, that's okay. So everybody's good, and then this afternoon, it's nice and warm out there now, so this afternoon we'll do walks, get everybody out and do some playing, ball throwing, tug of war, whatever they want to do, but I definitely have at least two walks and we'll see how the new guy does um maybe on a walk he could probably use a walk himself so i think it's lunch time for me all right guys let's get you guys a treat treat
treat? <laughs> All right, so lunch is over. Um, I only took about 30 minute lunch break today. I wanna take advantage of the warm uh, midday here and get some walks accomplished because uh, we've got rain coming this evening and it may flow into tomorrow night. So I definitely wanna get them out, get their legs stretched, get some exercise, give them something else to look at for a little while and all that good stuff. He, he's kind of new to this kind of leash. So he's pulling a little bit, but he's doing pretty good. This is our little trail around our property. We've got like, that's a deer trail there. We've got about, just about 12 acres here. So it makes for a pretty good walk around the property. That's most of the time on these bigger guys. I'll take him down the street too. He's doing pretty good. Good job, Tank. Old Sam, he's he's a little older dog. His back hips aren't doing great, but he acts like he's four years old. Hey, up this way, Sam. There you go. Boy, Sam, had a boy. Follow the trail. All right. So we've got Tank a walk, Sam a walk, Laic. I'm not sure about just yet. He's new, so I'm I'm gonna let him still calm down just a little bit more. Um, he's he's seeming like he wants to get out and just check things out again. So I've got. I'm still waiting on two dogs to get here today and then one new one that I haven't heard from. So I'm wondering if they're actually going to show up today. But uh, yeah, this is afternoon right here. Um, walks and then just get them out. Like Lucy, she doesn't really require anything but just hanging out with her. So we'll probably pop on the TV right there here in a little bit and just hang out on the couch and watch watch something and give her some time out. Then... I'll get out uh, Cooper and Buttercup after her. Yeah, but Tank and Sam, they had good walks. They could probably walk all day, but. All right, we're just gonna hang out. I need a little sit down break myself after the walks in this morning. All right. So Lucy's on the couch over there, passed out. <laughs> But uh, I was just looking at my schedule and I've got, I just confirmed with that new one and they're definitely gonna be here about two or three o'clock. And I got two more coming in today, but that's it for the next one, two, four, no, three days. Then I have two leaving. But the following day, I've got one, two, three, four, five coming in. And that fills me completely up until like the 30th, the end of that week. All right, so I had Lucy out for a good 30, 40 minutes. These guys will be out for a while too. You all right, buddy? Hey, good boy. All right. Got uh, one ready for one husky, this one ready for the other husky. And I have another new one coming in. He's a Cocker Spaniel. So depending on his personality, if he's kind of outgoing and just, just you know, you know, not shy or timid or anything, I'll probably put him on this side with everybody else on this side. If not, I'll probably put him by himself, kind of off from everybody until I get full, so until he maybe, hopefully he'll calm down a little bit, but it just depends on their personality, you know, where I'm gonna put them, 
Um, sometimes I have options where I can put them. Sometimes, sometimes I don't, but... Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey. Oh, oh, hi. You like the couch? Oh, goodness. You act like it's 110 degrees. It's a big fur coat, though. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, buddy? What's, here are some toys. Want some toys? Got some toys. I need to find a couple balls. All right. Yep. Afternoon. All right, so I can't see him. Now, Nook is here. There he is. Atta boy. And then Kiva is here. She's outside. She's a husky. There you go. Hey, Kiva. Hey. So these guys checked in. I haven't seen these guys since we opened like two years ago. And they're back. So... Anyways, I got these guys back out to finish their time out. I usually try to split up time, like give everybody an equal amount of time out. Yeah, yeah, good dogs. All right, so all check-ins are in finally. It's actually getting pretty close to four o'clock now. And everybody's been out several more times. We've got a new guy in, Jake. I think he's outside. Hey, Jake, are you in there? Yeah, he's outside. There he is. Hey, buddy. <laughs> he's a little timid, but we hung out for a little while. Good boy, Jake. And then I got Layak out. I haven't got him out just yet. I wanted to get him kind of used to the sounds and everything. And he he's, uh, he's just kind of hanging out at the moment. Just sniffing everything. Hey, buddy. You okay? Hey, buddy. How you doing? You hanging in there? Atta boy. Atta boy. Good boy. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to finish up this afternoon. And then um, the only real employee I have is my son. He works <laughs> a couple of nights a week. He comes out here in the evening time, gets everybody out and plays with them. Kind of shuts everything off for the night. And uh, that is that. But, uh, yeah. So, we're doing pretty smooth for today, I think. So far, so good. This guy seems to be pretty chill. Oh boy, Lick. Oh boy. Yeah. Good boy. You okay? Oh boy. I never try to pressure the dogs to do anything right from the get-go. I just want them to feel kind of chill. And just let them relax as much as they can. All right, hopefully we can finish on the day here. But yeah, the afternoon is basically just uh, getting check-ins and outs done and getting everybody out uh, just to hang out. And we did walks and we'll probably try to walk him maybe tomorrow. We'll see, look at him. He's not even paying attention to me hardly. Good, good boy. Cool, I think we're gonna get along just fine. All right.